salute to hoops guys welcome back to the channel another day another video another day in the hobby been quite a while been two weeks since the last video for good reason though uh, i was expecting my cards to come back from psa so i was gonna let some anticipation build on that video and uh, they haven't come in yet <laughs> unfortunately uh so uh then another week passed and uh, my computer crashed so that's why uh, there's a new intro. Pretty much I'm doing all the editing and stuff uh, just on my phone. I downloaded some editing apps. So uh, if the video is a little bit choppy, uh, that's the reason. But I, the new the new intro that I just made is pretty decent, I think. Uh, it took me a couple minutes off on my phone to make that. So um, yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. But I'm here today, guys. So... Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna show you some card, the cards, some cards that I've loaded up on at my local card shop. So hopefully the video isn't too long. And then these guys right here are just a lot of cards that I bought on um, on Instagram uh, for I think this whole shebang costs like twenty eight dollars or something like that. So shipped, which isn't too bad. And then we'll end the video uh, and we'll rip some NBA hoops packs. So I was able to. To get these also at my LCS. Uh, these were, I think, 10 bucks a pop, but I had a store credit, so it wasn't too bad. Also, got my hands on some Dollar Tree Don wrist packs via eBay. Didn't Haven't found those in stores, as if you guys remember, if you've been around. I didn't find those anywhere last year either around here, so I don't know if it's just a like a regional thing or what but i've never seen them here in the midwest but i will continue looking for those but that's kind of what's been going on so before we get into the video guys if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel we are at 174 subs on the channel follow me on instagram boom right there at salute to hoops and let's kind of get into it but... all right so we'll start off with these guys this is a stack of cards as you can see that i bought at my local card shop We'll go through them rather quickly. Players, type, so on and so forth. So we got Ellie Okobo, Silver Prism, Ricky card. I'm really just banking on him to do something in the playoffs. The Phoenix Suns are pretty solid this year. So uh, with the acquisition of Chris Paul, maybe Ellie Okobo can do his thing. He did some stuff last year, but he only shows like, like brief signs of what he's capable of. So... We got Troy Brown Jr. I think I showed him. I picked him up at the card show maybe a month ago or so too also. I really just bought him because he's a Chicago Bull and I really like the way uh, his game is. So uh, Next we got some Jalen McDaniels here. Just a young gunner on the Hornets, which I've seen play. Uh, saw some things in him that I really like. So I've been picking him up for pretty cheap. Next... We've got some Lucas Simonic here, guys. You guys know I'm a pretty pretty big fan of his. Uh, we got some, I think these are Red Waves, if I'm not mistaken, this prism here. But uh, not too bad. The purple and the red are numbered to, uh, we got one to 125, and then the purple disco there, as you can see, is numbered to 75. So I thought I'd add a little bit more to my Lucas Simonic collection. We got Silver Prism rookie Casey Opala. Little Kobe White action going on here. Not having the stellar season or breakout season yet, but you guys know. Like I said earlier, I'm a Bulls fan, so I had to get, get those. Silver Prism Isaiah Roby. Silver Prism Daniel Gafford. And then we got two Silver Prism rookies of Mitchell Robinson. Uh... I brought him up in a video last year, I think, of who like I was hoarding hoarding for this coming season. And it turns out to be a pretty solid investment so far. The Knicks are actually doing pretty well this year. And it will, looks like they're going to make the playoffs. So Next we got, boom, my first Lucas Amonic auto, which I thought was pretty cool. Not numbered or anything, but love the fast break disco type, type deal cards. So I thought that was a pretty solid deal as well. I think that all of these cost me uh, $70. Moving on here, some more Jaden McDaniels. And I thought I had put all these in order from 
according to player, but apparently I didn't. So some more Casey Opala, another Disco. And then we got the green Prism rookie. Some Jared Vanderbilt. Pink Optic. Silver Prism rookie Jared Vanderbilt. And then we got some just base Mitchell Robinsons. I don't, wanna, I don't like where my light is right now. Hold on. There we go. Some base Mitchell Robinson Prisms. Boom, boom, boom. Little Matisse thigh bull action. We've got some bull, bull. And then last but not least, all of these last ones right here are going to be Josh Okogie's. Minnesota is just not doing well, but I got all these Josh Okogie's for a dollar each. So I figured, why the heck not? I believe some of these, those die cut ones are going to be. So blue select is number to 299. And then these die cuts are number to 249 as well. Man, I wish, I love these, this design for sure. I don't, I don't even know what parallel this is, but Jesus, that's so dope. And I'm not a huge, I, I must admit guys, I'm not a huge fan of the die cut card. I just don't like the way they look. I don't know why. I know some people like adore them, but I am not a huge fan of like die cut cards at all, really, to be honest with you. Next, moving on, guys. These are all like relic cards and like random autographs. I don't know. I have like a random autograph collection. So one surprise I didn't see was this Lucas Semonic Contenders Auto, which I thought was pretty cool. Jared Vanderbilt, RPA, numbered to 199 on card auto too. Pretty sweet card. Chris Paul, Relic. Isaiah Roby on card from Origins. Malcolm Delaney, nothing major going on there. Rashad Vaughn. Tariq Evans, man, what happened to that guy's NBA career? Chris Kamen. We got Muriel Shayrock. He, I believe he was in last year's draft class. Little illusions going on here. Uh, and he, I think he's just been in the D League, really. Like, I don't know too much about the guy. I do know that he's like, oh, this is number to 15, too. All right, cool. I do know that he, like, people call him, like, a, a wannabe, like, Kevin Durant or something, but I've really never seen the guy. I don't think he's been in, the, like, in an actual NBA game. Jameson Brewer sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure he was in the NBA, like, a long time ago, like, early 2000s type deal. Larry Johnson auto from Scripps of uh, Mosaic, I believe this is from. Not bad. Chris Bosch from Miami Heat Relic. Mitch Kupchak. This is a pretty cool card there. The uh, Silver Spectra. Not numbered. Oh, it is numbered. Excuse me. 149 to 149. All right. So you never know what you're going to get in these things. David Lee. She's. That uh, that's another guy whose kind of career kind of died. Uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, Jersey Kings. Sad to see him retire, but uh, he was a Chicago Bull at one point. And I'm not. I'm holding on to that. Cliff Alexander, numbered to 99 out of National Treasures. Uh, Rudy Fernandez, also another guy whose NBA career kind of died, but he was pretty good when he was around. Uh, let's see, Martel Webster, another former Chicago Bull. Admiral Schofield, no longer in the NBA. And then we got this Chris Paul, which I kind of caught my eye because of how well he's doing in Phoenix this year. So, All right, we're at eight minutes, guys. We're making some pretty solid time for sure. Um, with those cards, those were just some pretty cool cards that I, I liked in those Relic Lot, in that Relic Lot, relic lot excuse me, uh, as well as the ones that I picked up at my LCS. And now let's get into these NBA hoops, guys. Might be able to find something, you know. You never know. Joe Ingles, Davis Bertans, Mitchell Robinson, Dwight Powell. We got Derek Favors, Josh Green arriving now. All right, we'll take that. Cassius Stanley and Jameis Ramsey being our other rookies in there. Kevin Porter Jr., man, he had a hell of a game the other day. We got Rudy Gay, Robert Covington, Jarrett Culver, Frank Nielakina, Luka Doncic Vanity Plates. There's our troll, Grant Riller, and then Tyrese Halliburton. 
injured. Hopefully he gets uh, comes back with a vengeance because he's definitely definitely a solid player. CJ McCollum, Donnie Mitch, Josh Okogie, Kevin Knox, Tim Hardaway Jr., frequent flyers, Aaron Gordon, Onyeko Kangwu, and then Saban Lee for those rookies. Last pack magic, maybe? John Collins, De'Aaron Fox, Mike Connolly, Jared Allen, Al Horford, Purple Carmelo, Malachi Flynn, and Daniel Oturo. All right, not the guys we were looking for at all. Any of those. All right, guys, 10-minute video. I will definitely take that. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about <laughs> these guys right here, uh, so we got Brian Scalabrine. I actually bought these both off eBay. This is the exact card that the guy at the card show last month wanted to charge me 30 bucks for i ended up getting this for five bucks on ebay i've decided to start building a chicago bulls 2011 roster pc and i decided to start out with cj watson and brian scalbreen i'm gonna try to make them all autos but i chose 2011 because i really thought that year that we had a solid chance at winning the nba championship but Derrick Rose got injured, unfortunately. But, yeah, those are the two players that I've started out with. And I'm just going to kind of build the roster from there. So, boom. A lot going on here, guys. A lot going on. But that concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully my next video, uh, I will have those PSAs in. Because they're allegedly supposed to be this week. We'll see. Uh, but we also have those Dollar Tree boxes coming in. Uh, tomorrow i believe so a lot more content coming out guys hopefully i can get a computer soon but we'll see how this editing on the phone goes but until then i will see you next time guys thank you for watching and thanks for the support take it easy